what's up everyone glock 9 here and welcome back to nightmare 2 it is the morning of 6998 we got the blue jeep rocking this morning the green neebs jeep was cool but i figured it was time for a glock 9 blue jeep for the final episodes the g-spot is all upgraded and ready for war but before we go down there and check that out let's put d down i'll show you the mods i put in her uh, we got the uh, drone cargo mod, which will increase the amount of storage she can hold. The morale booster mod, which gives me a boost of stamina when she's around. The drone medic mod, which allows her to heal me when I need it. And the armor plating mod. So let's put her down, and then we have to access her inventory Power real quick and throw in these first aid kits. This way she has the ability to heal me uh, in the event I need it. All right. Let's get down here. I put these two blade traps back in just for some initial damage when the horde starts. I need to wire them up still. Everything else here is the exact same. I haven't done anything here except for upgrade everything to steel. So phase one is exactly as it's always been. And uh, it's been doing well. So uh, hopefully it continues to do well. But when they do break through there, we go on the phase two, which is electrical fence posts. So they'll get shocked all down here. We will pop these hatches up, and this is where we'll do our killing. This switch here turns on all of these electric fence posts right there. And when this is about to fail, we'll make our way on to the second part of Phase 2. Pop these hatches up and do some more killing. And the uh, switch for those electrical fence posts is right there. So that'll turn all that shit on. And when they're about to break through those hatches, we'll make our way past these blade traps here. Pop these hatches up so they get stuck right here and take some damage. But we're going to have to make our way through the blade trap room behind these hatches and turn this switch on. Now the battery bank is off right now, but when it is on, the switch will turn on all these blade traps, including uh, those two over there. And we'll chill right here and watch the carnage and get some kills. And then we're going to have to back up. Whoops. Whoops through the spike room okay obviously there's a way for us to get through this room but the zombies will take this same path so what i'm going to do is fill it in it's exactly 58 spikes that we're going to need so i'll make sure i have those on me during the horde and we'll just fill this in as we back up through the room otherwise like i said the zombies will just take this path and the rest of the spikes will be useless now when we get to here there's a trigger plate with a couple more dart traps and a vault hatch we'll fill in the spikes pop this up Turn on the battery bank, which powers the dart traps, and we'll get some more killing done right here. And this is getting close to the end. There's one more spot right here. I'm going to put in a couple of dart traps and another battery bank tonight, so we can uh, get behind this doorway, pop up these hatches, and get some more killing here. And this is going to be the last stand. Now, there's plenty of more room, obviously. We can turn this thing into a base right here. Plus, you got this gigantic fucking room with infinite potential right here, but I didn't think all of this was necessary. I, I hope not, anyway. I mean, we're going to find out in a couple of days, but I think what we have will be more than enough. And if I'm wrong, fuck it. We'll just come down here, go up this ladder, and make a little bit of an escape. And then we'll fight the rest of the horde on foot. I haven't fought a giant horde on foot in a while. I can use the exercise. So that's it. That's the base. It's ready for war. Nothing else needs to be done, except for adding in those last two dart traps and battery bank, which I will do tonight. Uh, and then we'll fight the horde on day 7,000. But for the next couple of days, we're going to fuck around in this maxed out world with our maxed out character. Right now, we're going to go see Trader Hugh, take on a tier 5 job, and hopefully uh, not get murdered. What's up, you? A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. I don't know what that means. Matter of fact, it makes my head hurt. Please don't make me do math first thing in the morning. Uh, this is probably the hospital right here. Let's go south. 3.1 kilometers to the south. That could be the Dishong Tower. And I certainly would like to do that POI before this series ends. Let's go find out. Well, it's not the Dishong Tower, it's the Cracker Book Building. That's okay. All we gotta do is clear it out. We don't gotta worry about finding supplies or anything like that. 
This is where we start up here. We just, uh, whoops. I jumped too high. Let's try that again. I bet you I can just jump right to this thing. Oh, yeah. That's how maxed out Glock does it. We're definitely going to do the Dishong Tower, though. We'll do that tomorrow. I won't even take a job from you. We'll just go right to the tower and uh, get it done. Just because. We got to get it done. Holy shit. Look at all these fucking red dots. Come on, bitches. I probably did not bring enough ammo. I may have done that on purpose just because I'm a glutton for punishment. It is high-powered ammo, though. Oh, boy. Fuck you guys. Yeah, bitches. Back up. There's certainly more. Just haven't woken them up yet. This SMG is a fucking beast, though. It really is. My favorite gun in the game, I think. Oh, fuck you and your bad feelings, D. I'm sick of your bad feelings. I need a drone that has good feelings, you know? I need a drone that's like, I got a good feeling about this Glock because I know you and I trust you and I think you can handle this. So I'm not even worried. That's what I want my drone to say. I don't want it to fucking be so scared all the time. Anyway. Got a loot bag. Hey, level six sniper rifle and a coffee. I'll eat the can of chili. And I'll scrap the arrows. Where's D? She leave me? She heard what I was saying. She got all fucking butt hurt and left. Gonna need her to heal me when shit goes south, because it inevitably will. Because I'm probably gonna run out of ammo. Should have brought two stacks. I don't know what I was thinking. That's locked. Here we go. Zombies in the bathroom? Or in this room? Yep. Dead. Where are you coming from? Upstairs? Oh, shit. There we go. You know, two stacks of ammo wouldn't have probably done anything. Unless I brought a repair kit, too. You know, I don't think this SMG can handle two stacks of high-powered ammo without having to be repaired first. So, I'll keep that in mind for tomorrow when we do the Dishong Tower. Can I get another coffee? Oh, two more coffees. Uh-oh. There we go. Someone coming from behind me? Oh, yep. Fuck off, man. Let me drink my coffees in peace. Uh, real quick, guys, as of recording this video, the Freaker campaign is 85% Funded, 214 packs sold. Unreal. In the first six days. There's still 15 more days to go. You guys are fucking awesome. Seriously. So proud of this fucking community. I'm so thankful. Um, and it doesn't end at 250. That's just the minimum we need to hit in order to go to production. So it's just going to keep going. So let's see how much we can smash this goal. By 100%? By 200%? I don't know. But all I do know is... The more we beat the goal by, the more money that goes to the St. Jude's Ch Holy shit. Oh, we're definitely running out of ammo. That is a definite. I mean, we could pick some 9mm up along the way. Hopefully. Um, but anyway, the more contributions that come through for this campaign, the more money that's going to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So, again, thank you guys so much. Uh, I really do appreciate it. The link, again... Uh, is down below, and it will be down below in all videos moving forward until the campaign ends on November 8th. Hey, some books. There's a schematic I haven't read yet. I didn't max out the skill books either. So there are plenty of skill books in the world I haven't read yet. So I'm on the lookout for those. Most of the other loot I'm skipping over, though. We're going up. Ooh, rooftop. There go those birds. There's more birds. Probably above me. There's a dog. This is gonna get fun. 
Do it. This SMG is the fucking destroyer. There's the bird. Oh. Gotcha. All right. Whoop. That's that. Nope, it's not. Got the bird. When you're far away from the zombies, the silencer works good. Look, not waking up the other zombies. That's nice. I am wasting a bunch of ammo, though. Totally could have killed them with the club. <laughs> I can hear everyone yelling at me. Take it easy. You guys know me. We're gonna get through this, one way or another. I'm making it home tonight. Dead. There's an ammo pile up here. What? Where'd you come from, lady? She dead now. Yep, ammo pile and some first aid. I'll take... All that stuff. Don't need that. Alright. Uh, oh, another ammo pile. Scrap those. And, uh... Let's head down here now. Alright, we're going down again. And then down one more time. Let's get the gun out. Oh, this is the floor... Right above the lobby. There was a cop down there walking around. He must be part of the POI. Because there are spikes at the front door. He would have died trying to get in here. I'll try and be sneaky. My have picked nope. Up something. Didn't work. Dog. Here we go. Bam. That's done. Spider zombie. Not sure where that thing is. Outside, maybe. Oh, here we go. Dropped them. There we go. There we go. Man, we just keep coming out of this room. More? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Fucking clown car. What the hell were they doing in there? Oh, that's not the way to go. Read that. Pointless to read it, really. I don't need any more XP. I can't level up anymore. But I'm not gonna hold on to it to sell it. What's the point? Hey, some 9mm. Good. It's getting worried. Nothing there. Um, oh, maybe we were supposed to go down that, uh, stairwell. So we gotta get down to the lobby. I mean, we could just jump off the railing, I guess. Oh, here's that little bastard. Well, let's deal with him. Grab that, take those. Uh, let's close this door, that's to the basement. We don't want to go down there yet. Shit. Shit. <laughs> that was a fail. Come on, then. Better, uh, better get some practice in with the club, because this is probably how we're gonna fucking have to fight the rest of the zombies. I mean, finding that extra hundred rounds was nice, but we're gonna run through that real quick. You dead, Kenny? Kenny's dead. All right. Back up, lady. That was not too bad. I mean, we're so fucking powerful. It's like unfair. 
We heal so fast. So I'm not really worried. Greater chance to dismember enemies with the sniper, which we picked up a level 6 sniper. I'd say that I'll make use of it, but I probably won't. I'm an up-close kind of guy. You know, I like to look my enemies right in the eye when I'm killing them. <laughs> For me, uh, I never really got into the snipers and shit. It's something that maybe I will do in the next series. Especially being in New Jersey. Probably want to keep as far away from all those motherfuckers as possible. <laughs> Alright. This is where uh, the rubber hits the road. 29 rounds of high-powered left. Incoming enemies. Really? Conflict. Already? Shit, man. This is no good. Uh, shoot him through the window. That's it. Okay. 104 rounds left. Oh, boy. These are not gonna last. Oh! Okay. Um, where's D at? There you are. You can heal me whenever you want, D. You know? It's just... You, at your own discretion, I guess, but... Soon. Holy shit. This is it. Last magazine. Fuck. D knows she's supposed to be healing me, right? <laughs> I'm going down. Oh, there we go. Good job, D. She got nine more of those to use. So again, I'm not worried. I mean, maybe a little worried. All we have is this club now. <laughs> God damn. There's a dog. There we go. I did max out Shrimp and Pummel Pete, of course. I didn't max out everything, though. I think I still had like 107 skill points left to use that I didn't use. Because I didn't want it to be too unfair. You know, as it is, I'm pretty much fucking Superman. And now with D following me around, healing me and shit, let's get up here real quick. Let's see if this works. Okay. It's not bad. Could work for a second. Oh, no, they're hitting me. Shit. Oh, yep, yeah, that's not gonna work. They can hit me. We're infected. And we got an abrasion. Just gonna have to deal with that for now. Here we go. Damn it. Big Mama got that reach. You wouldn't think so. But she does. I think it's the Moo Moo that throws you off. She's taller than <laughs> she appears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Where's the dog? I'd like to deal with that thing. Oh, that was easy. I have, like, fucking unlimited stamina. I can just keep running. And power attacking. Too easy. And this is why uh, I wasn't sweating only bringing a stack of ammo. I still am going to bring two stacks to the Dishong Tower, though. Because that place is a lot bigger than this place. Hey, wake up, shitheads. You don't hear the fighting going on out here? He's down. They're both down. Dead. Dead. Oh, your senses picked up something? I'll tell you what they picked up. The greatest seven days to die player of all time. Because that's all that's left down here. Actually, eh, coffee. Uh, we have not cleared the area yet. So, maybe there is more zombies down here. Pop this crate open. Two recipes I've already read. Uh, let's just go get the loot. Well, that's pretty sweet. Good amount of ammo. Another level six drone. Read this treasure map now. Because we got some time. Might as well go grab that thing. Let's find the rest of these zombies first. Here we go. We're in the bathroom. Relax, D. Two more bikers. 
Dead. And dead. Uh, I think there's a weapons bag through here. Yep. I'll take that. All right. Let's get out of here. Go grab that treasure chest. Oh, the treasure hunting perk certainly makes finding treasures easier. Very nice. Lots of ammo. Another level 6 sniper. This game really wants me to use a sniper rifle. Fine game. Maybe I will, but probably not. What you got for me, Hugh? Ooh, um, level six chainsaw. I like that. Oh, that's right. I get to pick two rewards. I'm going to take the contact grenades as well. And he doesn't have any other jobs directly to the south. So the Dishong Tower is definitely not on this list. So I'm not going to take another job right now. Instead, like I said, we're going to do the Dishong Tower tomorrow. And then we'll take another job on, uh... On the morning of day 7,000. He doesn't have any first aid, which is no big deal. I got plenty of that shit back at home. He's got some throwables. Let me sell him some of this stuff here. And then, uh, I'll buy some of his ammo. Uh, that's good. All right. Take these grenades and these Molotovs. Contact grenades. He had AP ammo. I'll take that. Um, AP 9mm. Oh, I can't buy it all. There we go. Well, that's all you're gonna buy. I'll let you show you. All I'm gonna back. buy. That was like five thousand dollars worth of shit. You greedy bastard. What a dick. All right, let's get home. That'll clear up the infection. I put in a couple more mixers and a couple more forges and another workbench and another chem station. That's pretty much all. I would need, even here in Endgame. With this base anyway, it's pretty easy to maintain. I would just continuously be mining iron and smelting it down and crafting steel for upgrades and repair work. And then, of course, you know, crafting gunpowder and ammo and shit. And that's all you really got to do here in Endgame. Keep up with your ammo needs and your base repairs and you should be good to go. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to the conclusion of Nightmare 2. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.